This is the entire AP statistics course summarized in under two minutes. Chapter one is the basics of statistics. You'll learn how to analyze categorical data through pie charts, bar graphs, frequency and relative frequency tables, as well as display quantitative data through dot plots, stem plots, and histograms. You also learn a new acronym of SOX, which will be your friend for the rest of the course to describe future data distributions. Measuring spread slash variability and mean is also introduced in this chapter. Chapter two introduces percentiles and transformation of distributions, as well as density curves and normal distributions, a big piece of the the course as well. Chapter 3 is all about scatter plots and correlation, where you meet DUFS, another acronym of high importance, as well as understanding and interpreting R, R squared, residuals, and least squared regression lines, and computer outputs. Easy stuff. Chapter 4 is a lengthy and wordy stuff which is going to put you to sleep. Basically covers proper ways to construct an experiment or study and what can we conclude from it, in a nutshell. Chapter 5 is a throwback to Algebra 2 where you learn the basics of probability, however this course covers it a tiny bit more in depth, not much. Chapter 6 is more mathy, discrete and continuous variables, transformation and combination of random variables, and binomial slash geometric random variables, a point where you realize your calculator can do more than you originally thought as if you haven't already been taking this class for the past three months. Semester 1 ends and semester 2 begins. Chapter 7 introduces sampling distributions, what they tell us, probability comes back, and then you apply them, that knowledge to sample means and sample proportions. Chapter 8 introduces confidence intervals, and then you use it to estimate a population proportion or difference in two. State plan do conclude becomes your friend this semester. Chapter 9 is a bunch of state plan do concludes, this time with significance tests and a bunch of organized writing to reject or fail to reject the population proportion or difference in two. Chapter 10 and 11 are literally chapter 8 and 9 but with means. Chapter 12 is the last chapter and brings chi-squared distribution into the question, tests for goodness of fit, homogeneity, or independence, and then significance tests for population regression line slope. So, are you interested in taking AP statistics? Let me know down below. And if you already took it, what did you think of the summary?